Hi, I'm Josh Eggleston, and this is your Prince George's County Public Schools update. We're here today to look at some of the notable events in the school system, starting with a ceremony that named an auditorium for a beloved principal. Ms. Jones, thank you for being a world-class educator, and we are absolutely thrilled to name this auditorium in your honor. With tributes from the superintendent, colleagues, and former students, and choral expressions of love, former Charles Flowers High School principal Helena Nobles Jones watched with satisfaction and much humility as the auditorium at Flowers High School was dedicated in her name. After cutting the ribbon at the back of a hall that will forever enshrine her name, Principal Jones, who led Flowers for 12 years, Thank those who helped her along the way, especially an iconic mentor whose signature blazer and guidance will long be remembered. I thank you for the relationships that we were able to build. I thank you for the fun that we had. I thank the students for the talents that they displayed that I knew that they had embedded in them. This auditorium being named after me means so much. And it has more significance because Mr. Flowers' name is on the school. Somewhere in his red blazer, sitting up in heaven, watching me in my red dress, <laughs> he's smiling. He is smiling. If Helena Nobles Jones can point to a life of great achievement, it's because she let few obstacles stand in her way. For the young ladies at Fairmont Heights High School, that very same message came across loud and clear as television personalities shared their life stories on a girl's day out. Sitting at nicely appointed tables in the gymnasium, the girls of Fairmont Heights High School got to dance and talk among themselves, but also listen to some role models from the television world during an assembly that was billed as a girl's day out. Fox 5 News producer Micheline Bowman and news anchor Allison Seymour shared very personal stories of challenge in their personal and professional lives and advice for the young ladies who might follow in their footsteps. The one most important thing, no matter what job you want to do, I ask, I beg, I plead, communication. You will get nowhere. You will not be a doctor, a lawyer, a fashion designer a judge, a police officer, you will be nowhere if you please do not stop speaking well. I think a lot of students, children, even some adults nowadays, they get stuck in that slang mentality. Everything is slang, so they can't communicate. And communication is key for any job that you want to get into. You don't have to want to be in television, but you might want to be a teacher, a doctor, a lawyer. But if you can't communicate and speak well, that's going to hinder your goals, your progress. So I just always, when I speak to people, please speak. There's just nothing that you cannot do. I mean, who's going to tell you that you can't do something? You know, you're your biggest obstacle. Don't get in your own way. Figure out what it is you want to do. Keep that vision in mind, and you got to work for it. It might not come in a year, two years, or what have you. It took me five years, like I said, for my first on-air job. But it's totally achievable. It's totally achievable. If good communication helps to achieve professional and academic success, so too does keeping physically fit. At Eisenhower Middle School in Laurel, Instructors from the President's Council on Youth Fitness showed that push-ups and PhDs are not mutually exclusive. The gymnasium of Eisenhower Middle School became a fitness boot camp recently, as instructors from the President's Council on Fitness, Sports and Nutrition led students through a workout of traditional calisthenics, weightlifting with rubber bands, kicking soccer balls, shooting hoops, and so much more. All to promote a healthy lifestyle. We hope that they take away the importance, you know, what it really means to be physically active. And not only that, but that they had fun here today. And that it doesn't have to be a chore for them to be physically active. It's something that they can just incorporate into their daily lifestyle. For some students, like Guillermo Vialta, the pleas to stay active were hardly necessary as he clearly enjoyed the chance to show off his athleticism. I play soccer, I go outside and run, 
Um, um, I ride bikes and all that. If you keep healthy, you get to do stuff, have fun, and um, you wouldn't have to like be worried about your weight and all that. That you're getting whole grains, you're eating, your, you're drinking your water, um, you're staying away from sugar sweet beverages like soda. Along with advice to eat healthy foods and even to use devices like the Wii to keep in shape, the point of the exercise at Eisenhower was that strong bodies and strong minds often just go together. This is important not only for the students but for the adults as well. Physical fitness breeds healthy bodies, healthy bodies promotes healthy minds, healthy minds promote healthy, healthy student performance. And that's what we're here for. Physical and academic fitness may be hard work, but there are payoffs all along the way. Take the honorable students at Henry Wise High School, for instance, whose reward for excellence included the chance to swoon over a rapper and dream of an entertainment career of their very own. The reason why y'all fought again today, because WKYF got a special guest here, and they wanted to treat all the honor roll, National Honor Society students, all the 4.0 kids, you know, what a great job well done. The auditorium of Dr. Henry Wise High School seemed a bit like TV's American Idol recently, as students got to audition their singing voices in front of their peers and a professional vocalist. Only mother gave laundry, unless somebody lied. this cousin, it's a fighting, then don't touch me. As a reward for making the honor roll, the top academicians got a break from their books, and for the girls at least, the chance to squeal for B. Smith, who'd come all the way from Florida to entertain them. Even if the students weren't thinking of stage careers for themselves, Arta Smith had some very good advice for whatever road they choose to follow in life. You want to be the hardest working person, you know, because it is your your show at the end of the day. So it's only going to go if you if you say it is. So your heart, I mean, your your work ethic is definitely key. So make sure you guys stay at it and you know work hard to get definitely get where you want to go. That's it for this edition of Update. I'm Josh Eggleston. We'll see you next time with more good news from the Prince George's County Public Schools. Thank you.